Hello, how are you? Today we are going to talk about an AP statistics problem on simple random sample. But before I get started, I would like to mention that this channel is just all for you. I have solved all kinds of stats problems just for you. So please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner because then you'll have free access to all kinds of stats problem and other math problems solved for you, just for you. So let's uh, share my screen with you. Uh, the Student Government Association at a university is interested in the student body's opinion on a docket of topics. The leaders go about this by taking a survey and would like to take a simple random sample of 300 students. Which of the following survey methods will produce a simple random sample? Part or choice A, survey of the first 300 students that uh, park their cars in the parking garage that day. Choice B, survey every 10 student that walks into the student center until 300 students are surveyed. Option C, choose the first 75 members from an alphabetical roster of each of the freshmen, sophomore, junior, and senior classes. Option D, Put candy under the seats of a lecture hall and interview the first 300 students to discover there's candy under the seats. Option E, number the students in the official enrollment records. Use a table of random numbers to choose 300 students from the records for the survey. Solution to this problem. Choice A, B, C, and D would produce convenience bias in the survey. Hence, the correct answer is choice E because it would produce an unbiased, simple, random sample. So this is the correct answer. Number the students in the official enrollment records. Use a table of random numbers to choose 300 students from the records for the survey. I'll stop here today. If you have any question, you can always shoot me a uh, comment and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And please subscribe to my channel. I come back every time with new stats problems solved just for you, for your help. So for example, next time I'm coming back with an, another AP stats problem on minimum sample size. Okay, take care. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Have a nice day.